Hiya, in this video I'd like to show you three ways of how you can make a circular shape and extrude out of a square. So I've got three cubes on the scene, let's dive into edit mode of one of them. Let's subdivide this cube three times. So right click and subdivide and then in the operator panel you can increase the cuts to three. And now let's add some loop cuts and slide it on the edges so they're gonna support the shape when we add the subdivision surface modifier. One loop cut here, one loop cut there and on the sides. And now you see that all the cubes are not the same. The two on the sides are subdivided three times and one in the middle just one time. And now it's got supported loops on the edges. So the first method to make a circular shape, probably all of you know about it, is the loop tools. So you have to select at least four faces on the geometry, then right click on your mouse and if you've got installed the loop tools, so then choose loop tools and circle. Uh, by the way, the Loop Tools uh, is a free add-on, you can find it in the edit, just open the edit, scroll down to the preferences, then click get extensions, and in a search, just you have to write Loop Tools, and when you find it, install the Loop Tools. So we've got our circle, or circular shape, as you want. So now we have to extrude it inside the cube. But first, let's make an inset of these four faces. So I for inset, so we created a little edge all around. Then E for extrude, but not much, maybe the same distance as we've done uh, the inset. Then again, E for extrude, but now we're going to the desired depth. Again, E for extrude and E for inset with the same distance. And we've done, and now we can uh, add a modifier, click the little wrench, then uh, add the modifier, generate, and choose subdivision surface. Let's increase the level viewport to two, switch to object mode, apply, and shade smooth. On the second cube, we're gonna create a circular shape out of a vertex. So we have to be in a vertex mode. So let's switch to vertex mode. And now let's select the vertex in the middle and we're gonna bevel it. Seriously, we're gonna bevel the vertex. There's a hotkey for this. Control B as you bevel everything else and then V to bevel the vertex. And you can scroll the middle mouse to add more cuts. This obviously doesn't look like a circle, but we've got the bevel operator panel on the left. We can change the number of segments to two. So our circular shape is gonna have the same amount of vertices as the uh, circle before. And below we've got a shape, so we can change the shape of the bevel we created. And to make a circular shape, we have to set the number to 0 0.084. And now we can insert the faces, then extrude, then extrude to the desired depth. Extrude once again, and inset. And at the end, subdivision surface modifier, switch to object mode, apply, and shade smooth. And for the third method to create a circular shape, we have to be in vertex mode. Let's select all the vertices in the middle, except the center one. And then when you've got them selected, shift alt s, and you can drag your mouse on the sides, and this way you create a circular shape. And we also have got a little two sphere panel, where in Factor you can do the same as uh, dragging your mouse on the sides. And if you forget the hotkey Alt Shift S, then there is a other way to do it. You have to open the mesh menu, then transform, and transform to sphere. And now you can see this, but when I'm moving my mouse, this vertex is uh, moving as well to creating the circular shape. And this do exactly the same thing even the operator panel looks exactly the same. I hope you liked this video. If so, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.